Coming right up, Transformers Generations, TG24, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. Hello everybody, welcome back to another Transformers and Stuff review. I'm Atro Sar and you're watching TG24, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee. This is the Takara Tommy release for Despair of Scout class or the new Legend class uh, from the Generations line. And this is the box. It's just like the Hasbro release box and of course only the Japanese writing and the Karatomi logo here and on the side you have the stats tech specs for Bumblebee and the other side tech specs for Optimus Prime and on the bottom as always nobody knows what it says on the top nice Transformers Generations logo and on the back the obligatory product shots of the Japanese Optimus Prime with his Autobot roller and Bumblebee with Blaze Master. Of course you can see the colors are the Takaratomi one. Bumblebee has the gold color and Optimus has the metallic one. Anyway enough with the box. Uh, it is a cool box for display if you want to leave it like this, but because this is a review and not a box review, we'll take a look at the figures. So, first of all, Optimus Prime in his robot mode uh, based on his IDW um, look with the open chest and Blaze Master in his gun mode. And this is Blaze Master in his gun mode with Optimus Prime's rifle on the top here. Um, it's an okay gun mode. It's very big gun. That's for sure. But Optimus can hold it, and it's okay, I guess. Um, Optimus Prime and Bumblebee are pretty much the same size. And that is, as always, um, very annoying, but all in all, Bumblebee is a bit shorter. First of all, I really like the way they look, and the fact that they are not that small. And I like the colors very much. And first of all, let's see... And let's take a quick size comparison. Here they are next to IDW Orion packs. So we can see that they are pretty small. I'm not even sure if it is Scout or just a big legend. Anyway, the head sculpt on Optimus Prime is okay, I guess. It's nice. Um, light blue eyes, silver faceplate, big ears, metallic color on his head and on his body, which is a nice touch. Which is this is why I like the Karatomi's figures. Very metallic red, very metallic blue. Um, the gray ear is a uh, silver gray and silver color on the chest with the Autobot symbol. Very cool. I wish they've done entire red of this metallic color and not mix it up with this just red plastic. Let's remove roller and take a look at Bumblebee. Bumblebee has a nice Bumblebee head, very G1 if you ask me. The gold color is awesome. This would make a great gold bug. 
let's remove blaze master which in his gun mode it is a very cool cannon I really like this mode it's not that horrible although you have the visible arms visible arms syndrome but that's okay um, bumblebee himself nice gold color all around no mix and match colors so that's good has nice details on him nice Autobot symbol here uh, the color is this silver gray nice details here of the taillights just this pink bright red color and uh, nice details on his legs black feet and the rest details we'll see in his car mode on a very cool robot mode and this the rotor from uh, blaze master can go on his arm here which is a nice touch and let's talk about the uh, articulation so uh, bumblebee and optimus prime has pretty much the same articulation uh, with the minor difference bumblebee has the movable the moving feet due to transformation but no neck swivel and optimus prime as the opposite no moving feet but he can rotate his head and if you want there is a bit up and down sort of and pretty much everything else is the same legs on a ball joint knees on a ball joint elbow on a ball joint shoulder on a ball joint and on this uh, back and forth uh, movement of the shoulder back and forward uh, bumblebee has pretty much the same like I said no an X swivel um, his shoulders are, are a bit hindered by this uh, by the car pieces here but he has a swivel shoulder swivel elbow and another joint here that can swivel his arm no wrist movement as for prime his leg swivels ball joint and knee a knee joint that is hindered and can only go this far so he doesn't have any 90 degrees knee but oh well um, so that's for the main character and we move on to transformation and vehicle mode so we have roller transformed to his truck mode and blaze master back to his chopper mode and that's that and we'll start with Optimus Prime first of all just want to add this these flaps here on his shoulders can open and if you want to get this movement out of his shoulder if not just close it back up there is no other use for this piece instead of that and with that being said uh, the gun itself is that same plastic very dark gray and to transform him to his truck mode first of all we take down the bumper like this and now we'll open the chest and pull down the head and close a back close back the chest like this the arms we fold 90 degrees just like in the G1 Optimus Prime and to continue from this part you just rotate the entire waist 180 degrees like this so now the legs face backwards and the bumper faces forward very good we take the leg piece here the waist we fold it back like this and we close the legs together that's it for the leg part now to finish things up we take down the bumper and the rear the front wheels and then just the bumper we fold back up 
the bumper has this, this tab here which will go inside the space here like this this will create the front of the cab very cool nice looking now for the arms we take back the shoulders like this and as we do that we fold inwards the arms now the fist as is open this way it can go inside and grab the red piece here on his belly and this way it will stay secure we'll do the same on the other side take back the shoulder and in with the arm grabbing inside and closing things up now as we close the arm piece on his thigh he has this peg which when you close the arms will be um, will actually catch the arm pieces and close the legs so they would not move this is how the cab looks transformed and ready to roll let's talk about the cab real quick this is where you see they mix the two um, shades of red because this is the red plastic uh, molded and this is the color the metallic red color it's not that bad but I wish it was the same color the red the metallic red is very very cool you can see the details very nice and the gas tank here is silver the front part is awesome dark gray windows headlights are this pink bright color um, and silver here the grill is silver and the bumper is silver very nice the yellow head uh, roof lights and horns are there you can see the back of the head and he has this groove where you can put the gun like this um, yeah, and the legs are just the rear, uh, the rear part of the cab. The wheels roll pretty, pretty freely, pretty cool. Um, I wish they had more details here, but that's something I can do with my trusty silver marker. All in all, this is Optimus Prime in his cab mode. Now, Bumblebee has a bit more complex transformation but it is pretty cool you start first of all with these fists you open the forearms and you push the fist inside and the piece here you just fold straight the same with the other arm open the fist push it inside and then this piece you straighten up now the arms should be straight with the shoulders like this for transformation the feet fold down all the way to create the front part of the car and close it up like this now take the entire chest area and pull it up and that will and before that just remember to release the roof from the butt you have this huge bag you just release it up and it will cover the head now the chest part goes all the way back that you can the legs go all the way to the front part of the of the car but the legs you fold down so you fold down the legs 90 degrees and the entire waist area up into the roof and then you just make sure that the roof part and the windshield go over this groove here on the, in the legs like that straighten the arms and take them back everything will fit nicely and there is a little peg here and that will close the front part of the car in its place it is a very tight peg so you might need to wiggle it a bit 
till it actually goes in okay and the other side the same back and peg inside that's it and bumblebee is then transformed into his little golden bug cybertronian mode um, so quality control first of all I have this gold splash here on the side window or it's a scratch I'm not sure I don't know how it got there but well that's that nice details in his car mode entire piece is painted black um, gold very shiny um, nice grill bumper silver headlights this pink red bright color windshield and windows are this dark gray metallic paint very nice and on the back again the back lights are this pink metallic with the Autobot symbol here again on the wheels themselves there is missing silver paint but I probably do that myself it rolls pretty cool and you can if you want um, put Optimus Prime's gun on Bumblebee's roof if you wish to do so sorry if you wish to do so if not um, you can put roller in there in his gun mode um, what else well that's it pretty much or if you get Blazemaster in his gun mode yes you can plug it there but it shaves off the gold color so I won't do that if I were you anyway so it's a nice little set of Optimus Prime and Bumblebee with the little minicons Blazemaster and Roller um, if this is the new size for the Legends class it's okay by me I really like this size although there is no proportionally correct size between Bumblebee and the cab for Optimus Prime it is a big problem as you can see but it is what it is I much rather put my efforts on the big figures but these two were pretty cool to just pass on and if you get this set no matter which one Takara or Hasbro it's pretty cool I recommend this set and I really do like the new designs so guys thanks for watching I'm Atodayasar and I'll see you in my next reviews Goodbye.